Welcome back to the second part in the series on the DS3 Crossback E tents. Um, I'm Mr. Honest EV. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and smash the notification bell. Then you'll know when I upload the rest of the videos in this series. So in this video, I'm going to be doing the range tests and the um, fast charge. Uh, just to give you an idea of um, a rough range that you're going to get from a uh, driving the car in a normal mode and then again in the eco mode. So, you know, I, I do pretty much the same journeys every day. So it's a fair test on the um, two different settings. Obviously, you know, this is on my driving. Um, there are people drive differently. So the range you'll get will differ slightly and also as we know with electric vehicles the temperature has a massive um, effect on the range of the cars as well so i have charged the car up to 100 percent i'll drive it over the next few days until we get down to around 10 percent and we'll let you know what the uh, ranges that we've got in that um, firstly i'll be doing it in the normal mode and then um, after that, I'll charge it up again 100% and do the same test in the eco mode. And at the end, I will also then take it to a fast charger and do a 30 minute charge so that you can see the roughly the um, amount of charge you'll get in that time as well. So I will catch up with you after I've um, taken the battery down to 10% and we'll see how many miles we've done. Hi, welcome back. Um, so we have now finished the first of the range tests. As you saw earlier in the video, um, I charged the car up to 100% and I've been driving it in normal mode. And we are now down to 15%. As you can see, we've got 15% charge left. It's showing 13 mile range left. There you go. So 13 miles left. Now let's see what the mileage is that we've done. So there we go, 126 miles, uh, average of 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour and an average speed of 22 miles per hour. So to be honest, that's better than I expected. When I had this car uh, the end of last year during the winter, I was lucky to get 90 miles out of it. So it's obviously a car that does a lot better when the weather's that much warmer you know not saying that we're in the hot weather now but you know it's been above freezing um you know averaging sort of eight to ten degrees sort of the last week so it's obviously responded well to that warmer weather now I'm, i just want a bit of a disclaimer because i get asked i get told and asked the same questions all the time when i post these range tests you know you can get more miles out of it, yes, of course. Um, if you drive like Miss Daisy, if you don't accelerate, um, you know, if you do a lot of braking, if you're in a very city environment where there's a lot of stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, then you're going to re your um, regenerative braking is going to put more power back into the battery. But what I want to show is an average. ISCE car driver who comes over to an electric car and drives it as he would or she would their normal car um, and that's what we want to know you know it's like everything you can squeeze as much as you want out of it but that's not what it's about you know I want to get in my car I want to turn it on I want to drive it to where I'm going and drive back again and not have to worry about how I'm driving so this way, driving it as I do any other normal car, um, I've managed that range of over 120 miles. So I know in my head that if I've got 100% charge, I've got roughly 120 miles in that charge if I drive it normally. Um, so what I'm going to do now is charge it up now up to 100% again and then I will do the same test again the same journeys etc the same style and way of driving um, in the eco mode and just see if there is any 
difference at all um, whether the car does give you any sort of aid to squeeze more miles out um, I, I just get a bit frustrated because you know the whole point is to try and convince people who drive ice cars to come over to EV and the biggest thing that stops people owning an electric car is range and if you go onto any of the forums or the groups on Facebook etc it's full of electric car owners who constantly talk about how they have to drive like this or that to get the mileage out and to get this much mileage and it just it's very off-putting if you're not um, an EV owner because um, you think to yourself well hang on I just want to get in my car and drive um, I don't want to have to worry about how I'm driving I just want to take the kids to the school go to the supermarket um, so you know that's what I'm trying to do with this I'm trying to demystify everything and just put it in plain layman's terms that you know if you get in your car and just drive it you should get a roughly 120 miles um, at worst you know you could probably get a bit better and maybe a little bit worse as well depending how aggressive you are on your driving so I will catch up with you again once I have um, used 100% charge with the eco mode and then we could do a comparison so i will catch up with you later in the video hi so we have now come to the end of the eco driving range test um i have just pulled up to a shell recharge and as i showed you before we have now gone down from 100 percent charge uh down to 11 percent. i'll just show you here on the app uh, there we go so 11% charge left, uh, showing a range left of nine miles. Let's see how many miles we actually did on this full charge. As you can see there, done 130 miles at an average of 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, an average speed of 30 miles per hour. Now, to be honest, um, that's about the same distance that I got on a normal mode, but this last week has been a lot colder these last few days than it was when i was doing the range test so to be fair this car really doesn't do well in cold weather um i had a dear three crossback before christmas in all that really bad cold weather and i was getting probably 90 to 100 miles range out of a full charge so if we'd had the same sort of weather that we'd had, we probably, prob I, I think we could have probably got about an extra 10 miles out of it. Um, but, you know, so it, it's a good test, you know, even with this cold weather, it's been down to sort of minus two, minus three overnight and only up to low single digits during the day. So, um, you know, 130 miles isn't too bad, really. Um, that's ample for your average family getting here there and everywhere doing the normal daily runs so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a 30 minute recharge um, at a 50 kilowatt charger I'm using a shell recharge one because it's free on the on to subscription so um, I'll put a link up above um about uh, the on two and the subscription service and how we get free charging included in that so what i'll do is i'll charge it for 30 minutes and then we can see how much charge we get in that time so it gives you a sort of rough idea of you know a quick 30 minute charge will get you on a fast charge so as you can see we started on 11 percent battery charge uh, we'll give it 30 minutes and we can then see what the uh, energy that we got into the car is in that time so as you can see we've been now charging for 13 minutes um it's getting a charge speed of averaging around 220 miles per hour um we're already up to 35 percent so what's that 24 percent in 13 minutes and an hour and 25 minutes for a complete charge so <clears throat> we've now been charging for 30 minutes as you can see 
and we have got up to 64% on the battery charge so that's you know that's over a 50% charge um, and that's uh, there we go 25 kilowatt hours so you know a quick 30 minute stop um, and you know your batteries had over a 50% charge so just for you know it's good to know if you're breaking up your journey and you know you want to know how much you can get in in a quick 30 minutes on a 50 kilowatt charger and uh, there we go that concludes the range test video i hope it's uh, been helpful and informative as you see you know it's it's an okay range it's not great for an ev but um if you're just an, an urban city daily driver it's more than perfect obviously if you're going to be doing any longer holiday trips or if you do long motorway journeys all the time you know it probably isn't the best car for you so the next video is going to be going through the features of the car the infotainment system the driver aids um, and also the app so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you will be notified when that video comes out later at the end of the week. So stay safe and enjoy the rest of your week and I will catch up with you in the next video.